All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about the two methods, min and max. They're to go through the elements of an enumerable object and pull out the minimum and maximum value, right? So to start off with, I got something a little bit different. We've got this array called letters, which has, well, letters, right? And so when we run letters.min, we get the lowest letter from that array. The reason for that is because this you know the well letters but the string class in Ruby implements the mixin called comparable and if you have a look at that you'll see kinda how that works but it implements the mixin comparable which allows it to um, do the calculations to determine how each class or how this class deals with a comparison type of situation so if we say letters.max you get Q but let's just say, well, you kind of want to override that and do your own thing, right? So let's do that, okay? All right, so let, like I said, let's do this for min. And we want to calculate, or actually, let's do it for max because it's easier. Max, we get Q. Uh, but let's just say what we're really, we have this array, and that's fantastic, but what we really want is to get the maximum length. So we can just say max and then value and we'll say v dot size and return that instead. So f gets picked but that's not really a fair comparison. Let's shovel in a longer string long string now let's run the same thing and see now the largest element gets picked and you might be saying well that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense is that really all that useful well here's an example again getting back to account and you know bank size you know let's just say you have this array of accounts but you want the maximum bank size or the minimum bank size well if you hadn't implemented the comparable on the comparable mixin on that account, you wouldn't have a way to get anything valid out of it. I mean, you could have string comparisons or something, but it wouldn't know to look at the balance. But even if you did, you, you may have ended up using that comparison method for some other, some other criteria other than balance. So this allows you to kind of override the default behavior and be able to pull those values out by specifying in this case you know something like I'll just do what I'm kind of alluding to uh, we'll call this a and then you say bank size and now instead of just trying to go through account which you know hey that could be sorted by uh, you know what customer is this it could be the tenth customer or whatever uh, and now you can sort it by bank size and alternatively you could you know if that didn't suit what you needed or that you know that used that did what you needed in one place you might have another time where you're like eh, uh, cr created date so you want to get like the last one created or you know the first one created something like that so that hopefully gives you an idea of the min and max functions and why they're useful We'll be getting to some of the other things like min and max and min by and max by later. So stay tuned for those.